Hey guys, it's time for an update. Um, when, when did we go to the hospital, babe? Two days ago. Two days ago. Two days ago, uh, we went to Venice Beach, which I twittered about, so I'm sure a lot of you know um, about my outing that day. Um, we did a lot of walking, which is good and recommended by my doctor because that um, helps the baby move into position and um, get ready for delivery. So on our way back, we hit a lot of traffic on the 405 freeway to the 101, to the 134, to the 210, to the 605, to the 10 freeway. Ugh, how many freeways are there to take to get to the hospital? Because um, it was like major traffic. I was having huge contractions. At first I thought it was just car sickness. I was like, no, I feel like crap because I'm just car sick. No. And then it got worse and it got worse and it got worse and I started crying. It was horrible. I don't know. I think I said every bad word in the book and it's just bad contractions. They're not fun. I was like, oh no, this has to be contractions. Everybody explains or describes them as like the most intense feeling ever. So we finally got to the hospital. I mean, both of our phones died. We're, Chris was in the middle of talking to his mom, I think, and his phone died. I tried using my phone. My phone was dead. And it was like, of all days, not to recharge our phones, this was a day. And, of course, it's just traffic up the butt, and it was just horrible. Uh, I don't know. It was a nightmare. We finally get there, maybe 4 o'clock, and we weren't released until 10 and they were just monitoring monitoring my um, contractions and seeing how far apart they were and keep doing exams after exams to see if um, I was dilating at all or if the baby was close to coming so they were trying to debate whether or not they should keep me so they decided to take, just to release me and let me go home but luckily before that they gave me a shot of Demerol, and if you don't know what Demerol is, it's like the most amazing drug in the whole world, because I didn't feel any contractions after that, and on the, on the monitor, my contractions were hitting 100, so amen, I couldn't feel those, because I would have died. Um, but yeah, so they sent me home, and I was so upset, I was like half there, like woo, you know, like half there, and crying at the same time, because I did not want to go home, I wanted him out so upset um, so now I'm home I'm walking around I'm still like mopping the floor and cleaning the house just trying to do anything I can to get this baby out um, you know around my errands today me and my sister spent maybe about like an hour and a half at Target buying all the little things here and there that I needed for my hospital bag um, just really trying to get him more in position, I guess, and thin out um, my uterus more so that he can come faster. And the nurse said that he should come in a couple of days from my release of the hospital because it was just the contractions are there and they come and they go still. And the only thing that I can take is Tylenol right now. So just ugh, please pray and say, I don't know, wishes for me that he comes soon because it's like every single day I'm getting bigger and bigger and bigger and he's going to be like an 11 pound baby by the time he comes out. He's taking a sweet time coming into this world and it's hurting my back. So anyhow, um, I will keep you guys posted. I'm charging my phone every day now so I will be able to Twitter about it and yeah. So anyways, thanks so much for all your cute messages on YouTube and Twitter, and that's it. Want to say something? You sure? Say bye. Bye. <laughs> thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Hi. Hi, I poked myself in the eye. <laughs> cool.